people can't even decide what color to wear or which burger to eat. What the f*** does it matter, man? Autonomy is an illusion. Next time you try to defeat me, perhaps you should bring your friends. <laughs> <laughs> and hello, good evening, Skull Army and friends. Skull Crusher here. It is Monday, October the 26th, 2020. And yes, we are coming right back at you with another Boom Beach live stream. We will be switching it up just a little bit. No more warships, everybody. And I did see some classic map clearing in the YouTube chat right there. So shout out. I think that was Sir Fonte, Triple J, YYZ. Good evening, gentlemen. Welcome to the live stream. We will be doing roll call in just a moment. Don't mind the YouTube chat as well. It should be picking up in just a moment. There we go. We got that chat up and going. Nonetheless, Skull Army and friends, Skull Crusher here. We are on my Captain Bori Atlas account. What an exciting season. Warships 15 bombs away was. I don't know if it was the same for most of you as it was for me, but what an emotional roller coaster that last day was. I don't think I've had a stream as epic as yesterday's legendary or bust push with Captain Bori Alice. We are continuing the Bori Alice train with the Warriors. It's absolutely savage how strong they are on this account right here. Nonetheless, I do see a whole bunch of amazing, amazing people in the YouTube chat right now. We do have to give our roll call here. Harley Davidson, good to see you. Welcome to the live stream. Abo Joss, very good to see you as well. GG on stream, buddy. You are freaking awesome, buddy. Mr. P7R, very good to see you. Shout out to Mr. P7R. Shout out to Boom Beach Boomers, Omar as well. Love you, fellas. Welcome to the live stream, Mr. P7R. LOL Master, guys, we got Sugar Ship Elite. What's up, LOL? Welcome to the live stream, buddy. Sir Fonte, there it is. Classic map clearing. I was loving reading that already as we were getting the stream fired up here. Ryan is in the chat. Thumbs up right back at you, buddy. 
welcome to the live stream big shout out guys we got ryan j in the youtube uh, chat the king of the thumbs up we're gonna give you actually a double thumbs up right back at you bro shrek very good to see you hope donkey is doing well welcome to the live stream guys we do have a shrek sighting triple j y y z the canadian warship killer high school crusher and friends what's up triple j welcome to the live stream my friend and of course yo i see mr p7r ryan j triple j showing love to each other our cobbler hey guys what's up base killer welcome to the live stream jeremy jacobs yo you got the jj account back or you changed nathaniel mainyard to jeremy jacobs either way i love it jeremy jacobs what's up bro welcome to the live stream massive massive shout out to the jacobs clan crystal nathan damien and isaac boom goes the dynamite what's up jj yo roger blavette hey skull what do you think about the skies i think that it's clearly implying flying troops um we are gonna have to wait and see but i mean I, I think that's what they are implying here. Nonetheless, here, Ryan J, LOL, R Cobbler, Throat Punch in the chat there. What's up, Mike Throat Punch Darby? Big Darby in the chat. Welcome to the live stream. Shout out to Axe Darby as well. Only me. Baboom, buddy. Hey, Skull. Hey, guys. What's up, Only Me? Welcome to the live stream, my friend. Yo, Darbs, LOL, Cobbler, and everyone. We got Only Me showing love to everyone in the chat right now. Nonetheless, guys, I'm just scrolling down, getting caught up on the names here. Yo, just chill what's up buddy welcome to the live stream guys we got yo just chill in at the youtube chat it's funny as i was firing up the stream you were commenting on one of my streams asking when the map clearing stream was going to be well yo just chill here we are buddy we will be actually defending hammerman smashing it with the warriors nonetheless guys we got crazy boy dawn in the chat what's up dude welcome to the live stream cobra bomber good evening skull good evening to you cobra bomber welcome to the live stream yo kill deer survival how are you man welcome my friend guys Guys, yo, love you too, bro. Big shout out to Mr. P7R. And of course, three dots sighting. What's up, three dots? Welcome to the live stream. Big shout out, guys. We got a three dot sighting in the YouTube chat. Yo, Devin. Hey, buddy. Hey, Skull. Is it worth putting an arrow to my HQ telling people, hey, I want to drop medals? Not necessarily. That's just kind of rubbing it in their face. A beached HQ should simplify that and explain everything. But you, you can put the arrow if you like here. Cleared my map earlier with warriors. Easy and cheap. Well, you know what? That's that sums up the stream right now. Good night, folks. <laughs> I love it, Cobra Bomber. Pretty much exactly, exactly. Yo, Darnell Grigsby. Hey, Skull. Everyone, guys, we got a DG sighting. Do not forget to drop that exclamation mark DG in the YouTube chat. Darnell, how are you, buddy? Welcome to the live stream. Big shout out to you, my friend. Yo, just chill. Yeah, baby. Going on log to stream. Laptop and also clear my map. Well, nonetheless, guys, check this out. Once again, shout out to everybody that was with me on yesterday's... Um, warship stream guys what an emotional roller coaster that was that is still so beautiful to see right there so we did actually finish season 15 bombs away legendary one with three stars ironically the cutoff was actually legendary one with five stars if anybody does recall season 14 i finished with skull crusher 24.84 the cutoff was actually 24.86 so i missed last season top 500 by two stars skull crusher this season or this last season i missed it by two stars with Captain Borealis, absolute insanity here. Killdeer, dropping that DG command. Shady Graffit, hello, Skull Crusher. We love you. Much love to you, Shady. Welcome to the live stream. Mans, what's up, buddy? Big shout out to you. I also love using Warrior's easy and affordable way to clear my map. It is honestly my favorite way to clear my map, my friends. It is one of my favorite troops as well. I have, uh, did dabble with them uh, last season, not season 15, season 14, with the Warriors as well. Was getting some absolute insanity insane five er split hits with the warriors none of the less guys this is great for me to finish legendary with captain excuse me with captain borealis we did finish legendary previous seasons but nonetheless it's still awesome because this will guarantee me a rank 15 with one star start for season 16 to the sky so very cool here that's the way sorry that's way too much diamond for one player yo what's up guys we got camo bold oh my god i just tried to do an attack right there that's hilarious camo what's up buddy welcome to the live stream here so guys absolute savage savage um 
um, uh, stream yesterday. I love the finish with Borealis, guys. We'll actually go back to the leaderboard for a second here so I can show you guys exactly what a big one on here. Uh, but shout out to my fellow Canadians out there. Absolutely killed it, guys. Just the no scroll club alone for Canada here. Some of these names I am so proud of here. I mean, yo, seriously, Derek's place in uh, the identical Chinese accounts. So shout out to you fellas. But my heart goes out to the actual fellas out there that I know that I respect and that, that pushed their freaking hearts out here, man. Sergeant Janzik of the Sugar Ship right there. Fourth for local Canada. Incredible. Legendary 2 with 40 stars. Boom Beach Tips for the win. Underscore YouTube. This is a channel you guys should definitely be subscribed to. Drop that BBT command. This guy absolutely killed it this season. Tips has been new to the YouTube Boom Beach scene. I, I think for a few Warship seasons now, he's really starting to make a name for himself. And it's just incredible to see his progress in Warships here. So massive, massive shout out to BB Tips for the win. I was going to say FTW for the win. FTW underscore YouTube there. Blazed Beard. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the live stream. And guys, of course, straight up right here, General Electric, the Pirate Pete Minstrel absolutely killed it this season as well. Did not give up the emotional roller coasters of the ups and downs this season. I think we all experienced them, but Pete absolutely killed it. Literally dropping to 24 one day and pushing his butt right back up to legendary. And of course, also a sugar shipper as well. And look at those battles fought right there. 2,458. That is incredible right there. And of course, mini barber as well, guys. Another sugar shipper. By the way, Sugar Ship absolutely dominated the local leaderboard other than Derek's place and, of course, the identical Chinese accounts there with the same name, with the same name. But shout out to Mini Bobber. Mini Bobber was actually on top for legitimately most of the season here as well. Um, you were always seeing him at the top of the local leaderboard, always kind of staying ahead of the pack there. So shout out to Shishka Bobber with the Mini Bobber account. Absolutely killing it. Axe Darby, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the live stream. Surrendra, what's up, Surrendra? Welcome to the live stream. Very good to see you as well look at that tips second account right there tips absolutely crushed it here four sorry uh fifth and eighth in canada there with his two accounts right there absolutely incredible there large load 17 they're not in a task force hey eh? Maybe we should recruit you to Sugar Ship, my friend. Um, Triple J, YYZ, absolutely killed it this season as well. Guys, shout out to the Canadian Warship Killer right there. Triple J, YYZ, only 455 battles fought. A very conservative Warship player when it comes to the battles. Not very guns a-blazing. Um, very, very conservative with those attacks right there. But I love it because he showed that you do not need an insane amount of battles to make it to the top. He did his thing. He pushed and he killed it. But shout out to those players that rocked 2K, 3K. 4k battles fought so you must drop that triple j y z command in the chat art mchendry how are you welcome to the live stream guys we got an art mchendry sighting shout out to my mom roberta mchendry as well i hope the two of you are having a wonderful monday october the 26 2020 and i love you both there camel bold absolutely wrecking it there with the commands i love it guys and of course the beautiful amy chan there with her sugar mini account just killing it and once again, staying ahead of the pack for most of the season. Shark, what's up, my friend? Welcome to the live stream. Sup, Skull, and the gang. I love the gang part right there. Big shout out to Shark in the chat right there. Sugar absolutely killed it with her account as well, guys. I mean, always staying ahead of the pack here and just killing it. And of course, that sugar drop, that made a massive difference for me. If it did make a massive difference for you as well, do not forget to drop that exclamation mark sugar in the YouTube chat there just chill try refreshing and hopefully that will make a difference sam sam how are you buddy welcome to the live stream and of course guys here is captain borealis guys we did finish 17th on local i was the last of the canadians to join club legendary and and i loved it absolutely loved it guys once again for anyone that tuned in to yesterday's stream what an emotional to join club legendary and and i loved it absolutely loved it guys once again for anyone that tuned in to yesterday a stream what an emotional roller coaster of a four and a half hour 
four and a half hour grind and you know what i loved it guys i absolutely loved it unfortunately we did not have the same success with skull crusher we did finish mid at 24 i think it was like 24.4 something but just crazy guys absolutely crazy there so sugar on fire here yo just chill okay man it's fine let's go get it well all right guys there's uh me boring you with my shout out to my fellow canadians absolutely killing it in club legendary for warships a season 15 bombs away way dr phoenix what's up dude drop that dr p command triple j thanks guys congrats to all that played warships most epic stream of s15 was yesterday's push to leg it was so good i watched it again that makes me so happy triple j um i actually got a lot of good feedback from that stream guys you guys are in incredible i mean my emotions were just played with the whole time eight stars nine stars two stars shy one star shy getting a draw on the boss fight losing the the freaking first win of the day out of nowhere to catapult borealis into legendary are you kidding me you cannot make this stuff up triple j i completely agree with you and thank you my friend camo i'm not a fan of, of late streams good night and good luck everyone have a good morning afternoon and night camo you are awesome well you know what guys we're gonna jump right into the madness here we're still gonna continue with some of the talks some of the comments here uh but we are going to defend against hammerman here and then you guys are going to be absolutely blown away at how savagely strong the warriors are here let's actually load up our hook base here we've got everything set up guys i've got one damage amplifier as well i do have another one cooking here if i do have to rush it with diamonds i will um because i'm not sure how well we are going to fare against the later stages of hammerman tips how are you buddy welcome to the live stream guys we got boom beach tips for the win in the chat tips we were just talking about you and how incredible Incredible absolutely how incredible your progress was uh, for Warships Season 15 and essentially um, these last few seasons making a name for yourself as well within the Boom community and a blazed beard anyone want to loan me 12 million gold so I can have tribes for crab that is hilarious man uh, you know what a few nights of map clearing and you should easily be able to accumulate those resources there is that a Kimi boss sighting and a Kimi boss one dollar super chat donation that is clutch man it looks like the zombie is actually running after the intel right there massive massive shout out guys we got a kimi boss sighting in at the youtube chat i'm pretty sure we got a kimi command do not forget to drop that exclamation mark kimi boss kimi or kimi boss one or the other very good to see you man how are you buddy send your submarine oh my god is the submarine not oh wow how many classified items do we have here okay we actually have a wood safe and we also have a stone safe on Borealis. So that's pretty clutch right there, guys. But you were absolutely correct. We definitely need to send that sub out. How, how could I do that, man? How could I do that? Especially when we know we've got classified items on the horizon here, guys. They are all over the place. We're going to dive on in for that. Kimi, thank you, bro. How you been, man? It's so good to see you, dude. Okay, guys, that was stage one of Hammerman. Fleet one, we are not defending. Sorry, we were not attacking Dr. Terror. We are defending Hammerman. We are now on fleet two here. Warships is awesomely amazing. Finally, something not warships, says Kimi. <laughs> Yo, bro, I dig it. Whack Dagger, what's up, dude? Welcome to the live stream, guys. We got a Whack Dagger sighting here. Kimi, I've got the second um, damage amplifier cooking here. I don't think we're going to need it here. And I love the minefield of death here. We're really, really going to get some of those uh, mass infantry on the higher up stages here. Yo, hey, Skull, how you been, bro? I've been doing great, man. Kimi, we are also 100 and 60 no yeah yeah 160 subscribers away from 4k man 5k my lanta man i gotta get my numbers right here um but uh, you know what I i'm feeling energized i'm feeling motivated man i see those numbers going up um this has been a really good weekend for me as well with regards to uh subscribers so i really want to keep that push i really want to keep that momentum going for the road to 5k there yes say a uh, fleet seven i'm imagining is gonna be nasty and you know what that's why i wanted to make sure that i had a fair amount of gold here before i did decide to dive on in here now there we go kimi's loving it wow thank you buddy i know man kimi by the way guys was there with me when i literally had less than like 500 subscribers probably less than that uh to be honest with you there's a there's a handful of straight up ogs that i just absolutely love and respect uh for being with me like literally in in the very beginning way before the warships days way before the all hits live days essentially when i started on my phone with du recorder and map clearing <laughs> 
ironically with what we're doing right now. Yo, what's up, guys? We got an SC555 uh, SC555 sighting. We've got Tom in the YouTube chat. Yo, Hammerman does not stand a chance here, guys. He's getting absolutely wrecked with the hook base right now. And how do you guys like my uh, my trees there? I've also kind of let the trees fill in here just to kind of add more, more atmosphere to the hook base here. Kaiser, you got to do some bullet only hits. Ooh, we will definitely do some bullet only hits. I don't even know if I want to boost. That's how unfair it is right now with the Warriors, guys. You are going to cry. You are going to laugh. You are just going to be absolutely blown away. Warriors right now actually do more damage than Zookas. Well, my Warriors actually do more damage than Zookas here. Let's speed this up right here because I don't think stage fleet. I don't think fleet three is going to stand a chance here. None of the less here. Kimi, the boss here, says, yo, just a chill here. Pete, where are you at? My second fave. Drop that exclamation mark Pete M in the YouTube chat. Kimi, that is clutch right there, buddy. Absolutely clutch. And look at that. Hammerman did not stand a chance, my friends. How you say... Boom! Goes the dynamite right there, guys. And that's right. Drop that Tom command. We've got a lot of awesome people in the chat right now, guys. We're defending Hammerman right now after an absolute emotional, emotional season 15. And you know what? I know I'm going to love this break because we've got Crab this weekend as well, guys. No warships are not um, conflicting with Crab. Absolutely makes it incredible. A lot less stress as well here. Hammerman just like literally barded out and threw a couple critters up top on the right there where the ER flamethrower and dual... Ooh, he actually did some decent damage uh, to that boom cannon right there. All right, let's get back over to the beach here. Let's see how well we're doing with our one damage amplifier. Times four is too fast. We'll go times two. Janzik, what's up, Sarge? Welcome to the live stream. What's up, Skull Arkelin? Dropping that exclamation mark Pete M here. Kill Deer Survival. Dropping that boom. Oh, these Grens are going to be nasty here. I need this MVP rocket launcher to go in overdrive for me right now. That guy's going to take out a fair amount of these Grens. Never mind. Those Grens are going to take out a fair amount of my rocket launchers. Other way around. Um, but these mines should do an incredible job here stopping the Grens. I mean, some of them are actually deeply in the red already, guys. So just wait until we actually make our way around the hook here my favorite is the minefield here i mean everybody i should have a hook base here the hook base is is like straight up old old news but it is so much fun to defend against here or to defend with here and especially when they get to the mines here no chance guys no chance if the mines don't get them the boom cannons are gonna pick them off here they're gonna be running into those mines I don't like how they're actually dealing damage. There we go. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. We got like two left. Now we got two left right now. Well, they're actually targeting the boom cannon in the back here. King of Boom Beach. How are you, buddy? Welcome to the live stream, guys. We got King of Boom Beach here. Thanks for the love earlier, Skull. Tips, no worries, buddy. You definitely earned it. And you know what, man? Congratulations on 200 subs. I know that was a little while ago, uh, but you were just absolutely killing it here, buddy. Why have these Grens not run into the mines yet, guys? I am going to bring this up to times four right now. Because they should be running into the mines. Any there we go. There we go. Look at that, one left, and there we go, the boom line for the win right there. Victory, Mark Ritchie, Papa Skull Crusher, what is up? Welcome to the live stream, Dad. How are you guys? We got Mark Ritchie, a.k.a. Papa Skull Crusher, what is up? Welcome, welcome. That's what you're saying, what is up to my dad. Flint Michigan Gaming, High School Crusher, and everyone just stopping in to say hi and drop a like and support. Super busy, gotta run. Good luck, I enjoy watching map clearing videos. Looking forward to watch later. That is awesome, Flint. Thank you so much for tuning in today, buddy. We will definitely catch you later. School Army and friends, massive shout out to the Flint Michigan Gaming there. Shady, Mega Crab, and Friday will be Skull Crusher. It's going to be Skull Crusher. It'll be Op Destroy. It'll be Shish Kebabber. It'll be Pete Minstrel. It's going to be everyone, guys. Cactus Boom Beach as well. We are going to have so much fun here. Okay, guys. Fleet 6 here. Let's see how dirty this starts to get here. Yo, just chill. Mr. Flint, Michigan. And that's right, Mark Ritchie in the house here. Oh, we got the Bombas here. 
Let's see how well my uh, my damage amplified rocket launchers here do against the Bombas. We've got the mass infantry with the riflemen. I think we're looking pretty clean already here. Once those riflemen do go down and we should see that second wave coming out. And why not throw some cryos in the mix with more riflemen and more Bombas here. Are there Bombas in wave two? Yeah, there are Bombas on the second wave right there. So only a handful left here, but that's going to do some damage there to me. I really need those rocket launchers uh, to step it up here because I'm getting a little bit worried already here. I really was expecting those bombas to go down here now we got warriors and zookas coming out here okay let's bring this times two here uh-oh more warrior okay warriors and riflemen not bad not bad i think i might need a hot pot i don't even know if hot pot's available here mr richie school is an amazing man sir shout out to you and the family sir jeremy thank you for that buddy thank you so much oh my god this is looking absolutely scary Okay, you know what? The Warriors are going to take out the Mines, and then the Zookas, and everyone else is going to be undefeated here. So my trap base might fall apart here. Okay, not bad. Wave one of the Mines. Doing good, doing good, doing good, doing good. Okay, not bad. No, not enough Mines. Not enough Mines. Too many Zookas. Not enough Splash. I had like a Hot Pot or something in there, maybe. Okay, you know what? I think we got to do a couple things here. We're going to rush that second damage amp because we're going to play around a little bit with Fleet 6 here. So I know I've got that uh, second damage amp cooking here. Yes, we do. 154, that kind of hurts considering I'm trying to save most of those diamonds for warships. Okay, let's go right back over to the weapons lab here. And thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Six. You should come hit an op with us in a web if you like the Warriors. I love the Warriors. I don't love no hot pot or no microwaver, but I think a flotsam might do me well here. So let's rush a flotty here as well. Oh my god, the diamond skull. What are you doing? Okay, let's get this. Uh... Where do I want that flotty? That's the question. Okay, you know what? Let's get the damage amp here first. Let's move the mortar. Let's move the mortar down here. Let's sneak the damage amp over here. And let's take out the Flotty. And let's actually swap this right over here. I don't know if that's going to work. We'll just kind of see how it goes. We'll put you right over here. And let's go back in here, guys. Now we got two damage amps. And now we got a Flotty here. So these rocket launchers are dealing... Wow, okay, 75 plus 150 damage here. Op Destroy, how are you? Hey, Skull and all Skull Army and friends, we have got an Op Destroy sighting here. Welcome to the live stream. Do not forget to drop that exclamation mark Op Destroy and make sure you are subscribed to his YouTube channel. OP, very, very good to see you here. By core, it pops, kill Zookas. That's actually not a bad idea, Kimi. Let's see how it does for the first one here. I mean, we still have 1.9 million. That's not a, it's a fair amount of gold. But I do like that. By the core, it will pop those Zookas there. Okay, I think those... Uh, Actually, that's actually a good spot right there. The... Nice! We really... Ra oh my god! The Flotty, like, single-handedly took out that second deployment right there. MVP Flotty, everyone. Look at the rocket launchers with the double damage amplifiers now. It's like night and day from the previous chat here. Previous chat. <laughs> From the previous fleet there. I'm looking at chat as I was saying that. That's hilarious. Yo, Hammerman did not stand a chance on that one. Shuby Q, how are you, buddy? Evening, my friend. King of Boom Beach. It's Mr. Op. Yes, it is. Michael Wells, how are you, buddy? Hey, Skull. How's things, mate? Hi, everyone, guys. We got a Michael Wells sighting in the YouTube chat, and we absolutely killed it on that one right there. It's amazing how the second damage amplifier, well, two damage amplifiers is just disgusting, but throwing the Flotty in holy smokes, that Flotsam absolutely wrecked that second deployment of troops being dropped there. MV. P here. Woo! I have a new mic coming. So exciting. The Sure MV7. Oh, my Lanta. Just saying that sounds absolutely amazing right there. Guys, drop that off the strike command here. Love this type of stream. So understand, but not underappreciated. Scully, respect tips. Absolutely respect to that, buddy. Thank you so much. Mark Ritchie. Ba -ba boom goes the dynamite. And a big ba boom goes the dynamite. It is. I love it, guys. I, got, I really got to get that pop a skull command here fleet seven here i was warned about this fleet right here guys i think it is going to be absolutely disgusting here but let's give it a go here guys look we got zookas we got riflemen we got grens we got medics and we got cryos here so no bombardiers that's actually that's a bonus right there 
That is a bonus right there. Oh, he's barting out my Flotty because he knows how MVP it is, especially after Fleet 6 there. Right on Arkalin, right on Tom. Look at those off destroy commands coming in right there. And Sergeant Jans, what's up op here? Okay, let's see how these rocket launchers are doing. Ooh, these rocket launchers are doing amazing right now. Let's check out the MVP. Ooh, the MVP Flotty's looking pretty weak. But we are in range of a lot of those Grens there. Oh, take out the Grens. Oh, we missed like all the Grens. Are you kidding me? Okay, this, this is not going to be good. Especially if there's another fleet to be deployed here. Okay, there's not another fleet here, but that is a lot of Grens. Let's see how he does around the bend here. He's got medics as well. I dislike the medics very much here. But the minefield, my friends, always have faith in the minefield. Okay, that's a lot of dead riflemen. That's a lot of dead right. Not, not, not enough dead Grens. Not enough dead Grens. Too many dead riflemen. <laughs> okay, we got absolutely steamrolled by the Grens on Fleet 7 there. I don't need, I, oh my god, there's a couple Zookas and riflemen in there as well. That is savage right there. Op Destroy, the All Hits Live Ladder Tournament is coming back within two weeks. I also have a new All Hits Live one versus one in the making there. Op, that is absolutely incredible to hear. The community is gonna be so excited, man. I know um, real life always comes first here, but the community was itching for the ladder tournament to come back. Without a doubt, the most popular. I mean, honestly, shout out to the, the Q for BBS here as well. Um, but my, I might be a little bit biased here. Uh, but my my opinion here, I, I do believe the All Hits Live ladder tournament is one of the best All Hits Live events out there, guys. That is incredible, incredible news. Please make sure you are subscribed to Op Destroys YouTube channel so you do not miss out on any future all hits la sorry all hits live ladder events i almost threw a lit in there holy smokes yo dan from twitter hey school and op what is going on brother dan from twitter how are you buddy welcome to the live stream trying to figure out how i'm gonna do this hammerman here okay let's bring the flotty to this side here i don't know if that's gonna make a difference at all here let's try it with the flotty on the opposite side and let's go right back in here yeah, but life gets so overwhelming. Absolutely off destroy. Absolutely, man. And you know what? Especially a family man like yourself, um, it, it absolutely blows my mind how you manage your time to make room and to make time for, for everything, guys. That is incredibly special. It is incredibly amazing. Drop that Op Destroy command, and I sincerely mean it when I say you should be subscribed to Op Destroy's YouTube channel if you are ready not. If you are ready not, sorry, if you are subscribed and you're not, get your butt over there and subscribe. No worries, Op. It is life. Absolutely, Tom. Absolutely. Okay, guys, I have no idea how our Flotty did there. Let's speed this up to times two. We got those nasty Grens coming out. If we don't do anything about those Grens, those medics are keeping the riflemen in the fight, which is making it a little bit more difficult for those damage amplified rocket launchers to take them out in quick time. Because by the time the Grens actually make it to the mid range defenses, there's still a couple riflemen left for the rocket launchers to fire on. And the Grens are already taking out those rocket launchers. So unfortunately, guys, I don't think we're going to win this one right here. I really would have liked a hot pot. A hot pot would have been amazing. Because I have a crazy and amazing wife who puts up with me. Her patience is unreal. Yo, shout out to Sunboom for that one, OP. Shout out to Sunboom for that one, man. Awesome. Absolutely amazing. And look at them go. Okay, you know what? I'm going to run away from Hammerman now. We're going to dive on into some map clearing with some absolute savage, savage warriors here. Not throwing in the towel, but we're taking a break here from Hammerman because this is just going to chew up the rest of my gold. We're going to bring back a lot of that gold here. But one thing I did want to show you guys is how OP these warriors are right now. So if we do go over to the armory, my warriors are not maxed on Borealis, so they are only level 22. I do want to get them to 23, uh, but look at this. Level 20, oh, sorry, level 21 warrior. Level 21, I want to get them to level 22. Apologies. But look at this, guys. Damage per second is 495. And that additional damage from my statues, from my troop damage statues, and this is a crab account, so there are six troop damage statues on this account here, plus the 55% from the... 
fire spike i believe it is the fire spike tribe we are at plus 811 additional damage per second here these warriors are dealing an insane amount of damage 495 plus 811 if we go over to azuka right here my max level azuka 628 plus 684 right and now my friends my warriors are stronger than my azukas i love it i absolutely love it here dan from twitter ops all hits live ladder tourney is what got me so hooked to boom that is actually amazing to hear right there well done dan well done boom is awesome op is awesome here arkelin best wife on youtube heck yeah buddy tom i got divorced on boom buried my mother so i get it real life buddy real life guys drop that tom command and please show your support for tom learn so much watching them yep op we're sun boom she's a sweetie right here absolutely guys 150 percent here we are gonna leave the hook base up here but these warriors sorry these warriors are incredibly strong right actually no it's not gonna take us long to go back let's actually just save the hook base right here and let's go back over here and load the main one just to show you the statues a little bit easier um so we do have one two three four five six seven i actually have seven troop damage i keep forgetting about that 11th one right there tomorrow i'm streaming my first ever sushi eating will i like it i like it already man because i love sushi off destroy <laughs> i absolutely love off destroy and I absolutely love a sushi, guys. I love it. So check this out. The masterpiece right there is the one gunboat energy, and we are at 39% here. So still, to this day, I have not rolled a perfect masterpiece on Captain Borealis. I've got all perfect statues on Skull Crusher, but Borealis has yet to see a perfect gunboat energy masterpiece. It's crazy. So warriors right now, guys, we do have, we still have the three troop health, and that's mainly because this is still the crab account. We're getting ourselves ready for the Halloween crab. That's my diamond trophy that I have full plans of converting to a legendary trophy. I have Skull Crusher's legendary one trophy that I have full intentions of converting to a legendary two trophy. So it is going to be a very intense crab weekend, guys. We all love Mega Crab. I love Mega Crab. You love Mega Crab. We love Mega Crab. So here we go, guys. I think it's time for some warriors come out and play. And I'm so confident in these warriors that even with shield gens, we're going to go in for no scout hits. A hundred, oh, I didn't even talk about the gunboat energy from the tribes as well. We're going to look at the tribes right after this hit right here. And Ryan J can't wait up. I can't wait either. I love it. What's that? Drench it in soy and a wasabi. Two barrages right up the middle here. And my favorite drop. Actually, I got a few favorite drops. We actually just missed a shot. No, we did get the shock mine. I was going to drop a, another artillery there, but looks like we're okay. We're actually going to meet up on the uh, boom cannon there. A little bit sloppy on the landing. Ground flare right in front of the headquarters. We're going to reflare the headquarters in position, activate our taunt because bullet's going to pull in the shock launcher directly underneath them. And we're just going to cycle two shocks here. One to the left, one to the right. And even that's generous. Let's see how many swings it takes. One, two, three. So that was three. If these guys were boosted, I'm telling you right now, they would probably take that ER down. ER. I'm thinking warships already. They would take that headquarters down in probably two synchronized swings, guys. I love it here. Use, sorry, use not sue here. Driver dude in the chat showing the love to op destroy here. Arkelin fireworks as well here. So guys, boom, goes the dynamite on that one. Absolute savage gameplay right there. I'm going to turn the sound effects off there i'm getting a little bit of a refurb with them so i don't want you guys to experience that right now if you are let's go check out cam q 06 here oh we just scouted okay we're not looking we're not looking we're not looking we're gonna go right in for the attack right now here we go op film that drive up rest was so funny oh we got a shield generator i love it we're gonna blast right through this shield generator guys and this time we only do need one barrage in the middle there hopefully we can get that shock mine Yes, the Boom Gods are on my side here. And let's do this. So we're going to go Bullet first. Then we're going to drop the Warriors here because the Warriors are so fast and Bullet does not keep up with them. Bullet did not go straight and he's going to hit that Shock Mine now. Oh, narrowly avoiding the Shock Mine. Let's go to the Rocket Launcher. Let's grab... Actually, no, we're going to go right to the Headquarters now. I was going to try to Ground Flare to one of the... Uh, spots opposite of the shock launchers left and right here but we'll go right to the hq we're gonna activate taunt right now and we're not gonna shock the shock launchers we're gonna shock the flamethrowers to the left and the right because bullet's gonna pull them both in so one two taunt is activated 
Okay, let's activate Taunt again here. We're gonna come back. We're gonna cycle a Shock right over here. Shield is down. Warriors are coming out to play, guys. And they made very, very quick work of that headquarters right there. I honestly think that uh, casualties were absolutely at a minimal as well here. Chowderhead, Warriors, buddy. We are bringing them out to play. And look at that right there, guys. Absolutely beautiful. How many Warriors did we lose? 18 warriors a little bit more than i thought there oh my god driver dude the warriors with the uh fire spike tribe uh, this being my crab account as well so we are seven troop damage this isn't even boosted yet guys if we were to boost these warriors i'm telling you two swings two swings and we're popping headquarters here let's take a look at this guy right over here level 66 chinese character frontier and what is this bro all right, you know what? We're going to draw up two barrages just, just to be on the safe side here. <laughs> LOL only me. Blaze Beard dropping that driver command. And just to be a little bit safer, let's pop two artillery. Okay, I like it. All righty, so let's go for... I like doing this weird drop with my warriors where I, if I can do it on the landing, this one's a little bit hot because of that rocket launcher, but I'll drop the warriors on the far left. I'll drop bullet on the right just because once again, you got to time it because warriors are just so fast. Bullet is not keeping up with these warriors. Let's reflare to the core Two smoke drop here. And once we activate taunt, we will just cycle one shock to pin down the two shock launchers because that's a juicy, juicy shock point. And I'm going to say we're bringing this one down. I'm hoping with two swings here. Let's get the shock point in there. Nailed it. And we got one. No. Okay. This one had a little bit more true pal. So that one was four swings to win that one right there. Kicking AS is right here, Pops. I dig it. Op destroy. I'm currently enjoying this while I build the season 16 tech tree planner. Stay thirsty, my friends. Woo. The most interesting man in the world. I used to love those uh, Dosaki commercials there. Uh, but none of the less off destroy. That's awesome, man. The tech tree planner is super, super, super helpful to the community. Big shout out to Off Destroy for that one, guys, because that does take time. That does take work there. And guys, we do have the beautiful Amy Chan in the YouTube chat. What's up, Amy? Welcome to the live stream. Skull Army and friends, do not forget to drop that exclamation mark sugar in the YouTube chat. Welcome, sugar. Yo, what is up? Jacinto Tan High School and everyone. Jacinto, how are you, my friend? Welcome to the live stream. Yo, we got a chest ready. Uh, let's get some more shards. Let's go back in. We scouted this one already, so we're going to jump in for the attack here. Shield gen or no shield gen, guys. We're going right through this. This one's actually a little bit more of a walk here. Shock launcher at the back. Laser in the front here. Flanking flamethrowers. This guy is like, no thank you to the warriors. I see a fair amount of ice there as well. At least one uh bh two bh we got three bh and looks like we got a bd right there all right this one's gonna take a few amount of artillery here i see a boom mine right over here nicely hidden buddy okay one barrage uh two barrage maybe two barrage and two artillery let's get rid of that boom mine first Boom mine is donezo. Let's drop a barrage right here and let's drop a barrage right here. An op you should include at what ray you get extra defense. I dig it, man. Yo, let's get that next artillery right over there. Beautiful. Two boom mines for the price of one artillery. This area is a little bit, uh, little bit sketchy. So we'll get one more artillery. And we did take out a boom mine and a regular mine. So we should be able to do this landing without having too much threat uh, from the rocket launchers there. So let's go one, two, three four five six seven eight let's get bullet coming out to play here and let's come right over here beautiful okay nice flare point there laser's gonna target bullet right there should cut it away from the warriors but it looks like the warriors nicely done they actually made their way right into that smoke easy transition Next flare point right now. And a blaze beard. Tick, get those likes in right there. One, two, and a three right there. So we should actually go right up. Let's actually follow back. Oh, no, we did peek. We just peeked right there. Not good, my friends. Not good. We will follow up with a taunt right there. And I think that shock launcher behind me is going to be a problem. So one shock right on the laser. Right on the laser and shock launcher. We'll follow up with the warriors here. We're taking a lot of heat from, no pun intended, from those flamethrowers. But looks like we are getting right here. And at what tick do you gain a defense there? And I love it. Boom. To you, Papa Skull Crusher. 
Amy Chan, Baba Go. You forgot the Baboom. Baba goes the dynamite right there. Jeremy Jacobs, hey Skull. Why the heck is your dad a mod? Um, add to the list of things to do. <laughs> You know what's funny, JJ? Very, very well said on that one. All right, guys, we're going to give the sound effects another go here. We are reloading. So far, once again, crushing it with the unboosted warriors. Guys, we got a nice pool full of players right over here. Speech 100. Can I see the damage on those warriors? Absolutely, buddy. Check this out. So let's get right back over here, guys. We got Speech 100 in the chat there asking to see the Warriors. I love it, guys. Let's check out the damage that these Warriors are doing right now. And right back over. Here we go. Okay, so comparing them to the Zookas right here. So max level Zookas, guys. These guys are crazy dealing some insane damage right here. So Zooka's right now 628 plus uh, 684. If we do make our way over to the Warriors, the Warriors are just crazy here. 495 plus 811. Oreo, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the live stream, guys. We've got an Oreo sighting in the YouTube chat. How you doing, Ben? Very good to see you. Warriors are absolutely savage right now, guys. I'm loving a driver, dude. Beast mode right here. Op, you'll be suing after you've eaten it. LMAO. You guys are hilarious. I'm currently enjoying this while I build the season uh, 16 tech tree uh, planner. Op destroy is killing it on that, guys. Nonetheless, here, Rudy showing the love there to uh, Kevin, guys. We're going to jump right back in here and keep this madness going here. So, speech 101, or sorry, speech 100. I hope that was a suffice right there. Keep in mind that we are rocking the fire spike tribe there with plus 55 percent damage uh additional damage that these warriors are dealing and we've also got the gunboat energy tribe at plus 50 percent and i even tried to take it to the next level here guys and boost my flamethrower damage to give me that much more of an edge against hammerman but it really seems like fleet seven is giving a very hard time here and amy showing love to everybody hey arc dan shouty tom ryan Invisible man's driver, only me, Kevin A, everyone else I missed. Okay, so you know what? Speech, some very good stuff here. Yes, me and Rudy made the layout all pushers and leaderboard using right now. So it looks like you guys are setting the tone right there, raising the bar. Okay, we're going to go in for a level 68 attack here with the Warriors. No scout here. And JJ Skull, you are truly a lucky man, my friend. It's amazing to see such family support right there. JJ, thank you for that, buddy. Once again and of course massive shout out to you and your family the jacobs clan crystal nathan damien isaac boom goes the dynamite here i'll have coffee without sugar rudy get out no i'm kidding bro <laughs> And showing the left to Tom right there. That's a lot of damage. 1,301. They're dealing, I believe they're dealing more damage than the Zookas at the moment right now. Nonetheless, guys, we got seven seconds to get this battle going here. So let's drop the barrage here, clear up some of those mines, and let's get this insanity on the go here. Okay, a couple more artillery I'm not feeling, so we will get rid of that. Sup, Kimi and Noob. Guys, we got the best noobs in the game right now. And I, I mean that. We're talking about Kimi Boss and we're talking about Rudy, aka Adrian Vasquez here. Amy Chan, LMAO, Skull told you to get out. A, no sugar in the coffee. What's wrong with you, bro? No, I, I'm kidding. Eventually, eventually. Um,. I think that'll be okay, but for the time being, not a chance, bro. There will be sugar in the coffee. <laughs> All right, once again, a little bit sloppy on the landing there because I'm still kind of reading the chat there and giggling at Sugar's comment right there, but we will reflare to the core here, guys. Once again, shocks are going to be coming out right now. We'll just cycle two of them right there. That's one, that's two, and that's three right there. Warriors, come out and play. I love it. Amy forgot me in her shout out. I don't think Kimi is liking that right there. <laughs> He's busting a gut there too. I love it, guys. Boom goes the dynamite. We're bringing in the intel as well. Hey, Miss, how are you, buddy? Welcome to the live stream, guys. We got Sugar Ships Hey, Miss in at the YouTube chat. And hello, noobs, Rudy and Kimi. <laughs> So, guys, we're going to reload. The good thing about the Warrior map clear is even if you don't have instant training, 
keep in mind it is still very very affordable guys warriors do not take very long to load and you will actually clear your map much faster with the warriors and you'll have a lot more success with the warriors as a non-instant training player so i do highly recommend using the warriors when you clear your map bring these trusty vikings out to play get those loincloths flapping in the wind and bring the hammer down let's do this okay vertical stagger drop on this one one two let's get right up here let's go right here and we're actually gonna ground flare right to the in front of the rocket launcher uh, behind the rocket launcher in front of the core and then now we're gonna reflare yo jawan cobb what's up jawan welcome to the live stream buddy good to see you very good to see you okay where's the two shock launchers there's one and there's two shocks have one two i want my two synchronized swings here i don't think i'm gonna get those two synchronized swings unless i boost uh, the troop damage but right now i don't think it is necessary to boost the troop damage guys it it'll just be scary absolutely scary with these warriors with boosted troop damage right now we've got seven td statues backing them up right now all ranging from i believe a perfect uh 32 td and i believe six uh, sorry five um 13s and i think i've got 112 in there as well and hi miss amy and everyone else right there whack dagger showing the love there to amy me kimi skull look on global leaderboard look for a player with a noob in the name have a laugh what be going on here let's take a look kimi global global legend noob okay we got legend noob and we got legend kimi kimi are these both your accounts and mark richie papa skull crusher leaving the house thanks all thank you so much dad thank you for tuning in tonight i hope you have a wonderful night much love and we will definitely speak with you later there amy chan showing the left there's one i is ju oh my god juan i think it's juan i'm once again i am horrible with pronunciation at times so to school army and friends i do sincerely sincerely apologize if i butcher your name yo dan from twitter how much power do you have boost the td for one swing that's live stream entertainment oh my god you know what i've got enough uh, i've got enough powder on borealis i've got like three times the amount of powder on borealis than i do on skull crusher so right now we've got 347 power powder but i mean i've got 108 ice crystals i've got 280 magma crystals nowhere near as many crystals as we have on skull crusher but we still have a fair amount of accumulation here how you doing school i'm trying to attack because i need my hq 18 i hope you get that hq 18 uh upgrade sooner than later juan um ryan j there gambling it all away there you know what i i want that synchronized swing of death here so this is going to be for the entertainment guys uh, plus i can also hit the op fully boosted here so we are now going to boost our troop damage here and I mean, we are going to boost it here. No, no, but funny name AF. How come they're all legend? Or do all the players with legend on the leaderboard, Kimi, are they all in the same TF? Are you guys all affiliated in like WhatsApp or like Telegram, Discord? I don't even think I need to boost uh, the TH, but we're going to do it to be on the safe side. We're not going to boost the gunboat energy. That's not going to be necessary here. Didn't scroll all the way, noob. My bad. Okay, so we got legend noob. At 24, we got Legend Kimi at 27. And we got Legend Rudy at 49 right there. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Dan from Twitter. LOL. Love it. Thanks, Skull. You know what, Dan? We better get those two synchronized swings now. I I'm rooting for it, man. I am really, really rooting for it. We're not boosting the gunboat energy. Gunboat energy can sit on the sideline right now. No, but we all sort of support to compete with the Chinese. I like it, man. You know, you need support. You need that support system, Rudy. That is awesome. Okay, so let's go for a no scout level 68 here. No she. Oh, my God. Why you got green statues? Come on, bro. I, I, I don't even know if these are serious players or not when you see green statues. But then again, it is almost 800 VP. So at this point, you should realize that uh, green statues are really not the way to go. But uh, whatever floats your boat here, Jawan, if you break it down, sir. Thank you, Jawan. I got it now once and forever. Jawan, if you break it down, sir. Thank you, buddy. You are amazing. Dan from Twitter. I'm map clearing with warriors along with you. Yo, I love it. It's like the mukbang equivalent of uh, 
No, I, I, I'm trying to make a mukbang joke here. Clear your map along with me, but I'm not eating. I'm playing Boom Beach. Okay, here we go. Vertical stagger drop. Uh, we're going to go one. We're going to go two. We're, oh, check this out. We're going to try to meet up on the hot pot. If we don't peek, that would be amazing. Take advantage of that little hot pot glitch right there so we can actually group on the hot pot very nicely. Transition right to the power core. We'll do a two power core. Transition right to the headquarters. Now I'm thinking operations. Beautiful right there, guys. We'll activate taunt right now. We're going to cycle two shocks. That's all we need. Just two. Just two. So we're going to go one. We're going to go two. One, two. Oh, come on, man. I want my two swings. I want my two swings. It's 13 days of no GBE boost, says Tom. The name, have me crying. Cameron, what's up, dude? Welcome to the live stream, guys. We got Cameron, FTW. Cameron, for the win in the YouTube chat. Very good to see you, Cameron. Rudy, you see how uh, Kimi's above 1,400. I didn't even show you guys the amount of damage that these warriors are bringing in right now with the boost here. Let's go back to the armory. Let's take a look and... Oh my god, that is savage right there! 495 plus 1,351 right there. LOL, you'll get it, Skull. I want that two swing, two swing synchronization, Dwight. Do we, uh, sorry, uh, DC, I hope we get it, buddy. I hope we get it. Bring a brick, Skull. Gives you more damage, but bullet saves me a lot more shocks here. Um, Yo, Kinora sighting, guys. We got a Kinora sighting in the YouTube chat. Welcome, buddy. I clear my map every day, but each person has no loot. Isn't that sad? Guys, my warriors right now are dealing 1,300, uh, 14, 15, 16, 1,700, over 1,800 damage per second here per swing. They're healing themselves 80 HPS, sorry, 80 um, hit points here. HP, this is crazy. 60 to 80k resources per base of each type. Find a non-ice base and melt it. You know what? That's the beauty of the no scout map clear here. Let's go take a look at our level 68 friend here. That exactly, speech 100. That is a, here we go. The boom gods have blessed me. I'm sorry, guys, I shouldn't be yelling. The boom gods have blessed me. I am super excited right now. We have lined up our... That's uh, that's no ice, guys. That is uh, 220,000 headquarters here. Rudy, within 20 miles of me in Op Destroy, there was a nasty fire that filled the whole day with ash and sick wind. Ugly day outside. Today, even still ash falling. I'm so sorry to hear that, Rudy. Um, you know, the damage, you know, the, the property loss. Hopefully, there was no loss of life. Um, but very sorry to hear that, buddy. Very sorry to hear that. Even with 140 resource reward, I still don't get enough loot. Kenora, damn, I just cleared my... Uh, with Scorchers. I forgot the Warrior boost. And with all... Exactly. It's like meant to be. It's absolutely meant to be. You know what? Dan from Twitter... We're getting it right now. We are getting it. We're getting that two-swing synchronization. Dwight Covington, wait for it, buddy. And this is only a level 68 as well. Okay, let's do a two smoke drop. Let's ground flare in front of the boom cannon. Let's ground flare in front of the shock launcher. And then we'll do a two smoke drop to the core. And then we'll transition to a final flare to the core here. I probably used a lot more GBE than I needed to on this one here. Let's activate taunt. We're going to pull in the shock launcher behind us. And we're going to cycle one shock behind us. Two swings, baby. Two swings. Boom! Goes the dynamite! We got our two-swing synchronization right there. Boom! Goes the dynamite, Skull Army. I love it. Yep, Kimi, I rated you last week a 1,505 account with 8-8. Eight, eight. I think that's 8 ice and 8 boosted right there. And Ryan J, boom is right. I am absolutely thrilled with that one right there. We got the two-swing synchronization. Warriors came out to play. Trusting, trusting the Vikings. Loincloths fly Lapping in the air, bringing the hammer down. We got our two swing boom. We got our two swing boom. That was savage, guys. Let's go in on Vega 6 here. Let's see what's going on here. We lost three warriors on that one as well. Skull army here. So now we've got, this is once again, no ice. Oh, no ice. The boom gods are like, all right, Skull, now that you boosted, we might as well give you no ice. The boom gods work in mysterious ways. This is also why I love the thrill of the no scout map clear, especially after a situation like this where we just boosted. It's crazy because now we're getting all the uh, the no ice, uh, uh, all the, uh, the no ice bases. Yo, TTV toes Russ. This week I'm going to be so bored because there's no warships. But on the plus side here, there is going to be 
Mega Crab, guys. We got a Mega Crab weekend coming up here. Stop saying that W word for Christ's sake. <laughs> I love it, dude. Shout out to Kimi right there. We're going for it. Warriors, come out to play. That one's especially for Kimi, boss. Okay, we're going to ground flare because I want to pull bullet right by the shock launcher here. So that way we just like render it useless here. But I need bullet at the flare point before we reflare the core. There it is. Bullet is going to be right by that shock launcher. Look at that. He's practically touching it right there. So let's zoom out right now. We're going to cycle a critter box to the right, and we're going to shock the shock launcher and rocket launcher to the back left here. So there's one swing. There's two swings. Boom! Goes the dynamite here. Hakeem doesn't sound like a Christ worshiper. L-O. Oh, warships. I thought he was saying, I thought Kimi was getting mad at me saying warriors. He's referring to warships. That's hilarious right there. Um, Way too funny. Way too funny. Warships, warships, warships. Tom, during these odd times, I do mean odd. Just hope all others are well. Fires, virus, and soon I'll be in ice storm. It's okay. Tis life. Guys, look at that. We lost seven warriors on that one right there but we brought the hammer down we brought the hammer down i'm gonna drop that exclamation mark tom in the youtube chat school army and friends i wish you guys do the same here okay next a battle guys once again the thrill of the no scout oh brick somebody said use brick i think that was a uh, kim not kimi rudy rudy in the chat right there 11% no thank you i only keep 13s uh let's go right back in let's get brick bringing the mustache out getting a little bit jealous of those loincloths flapping in the air all right here this isn't even f no dan this is not even fair warriors are ridiculously op this week they are the oh come on man okay we're gonna come back to you um let's go right over here we've got a level 70 no scout attack with the warriors coming out to play Woo! we've got another back right layout here i'm just checking for mines along the way that's going to be one barrage right there maybe one artillery right there and i do see another artillery right over here and dan from twitter you are absolutely correct bro this is not even fair this is just uh, this is fun fun for us not fun for the opponents when they see how easy their bases are getting wrecked right now with the word oh beautiful barrage right there we took out both shock mines and the boom mine now we've got one artillery right here. I want to take out that shock mine and that boom mine. There we go. Hoping to get up to upgrades to get two of my six landing crafts to level 15. TTV, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. One more artillery right there. And once again, we're going to flare land to the far right side of the beach. And we're going to drop our warriors on the far left side of the beach. Once again, warriors are like stupid fast and heroes are like very slow. So I need Brick to get that head start as best she can. Let's go to our first flare point. Brick can take, you know, a sniper or two. That's fine. We'll get the first smoke. Second smoke. Third smoke. We're going to transition to a ground flare in front of the machine machine gun in front of the flamethrower. One, two, three, four. And we'll transition right to the headquarters once Brick gets her butt closer to the flare point without peeking. Oh, they didn't even peek. That was awesome. Let's activate BO right now. And now we got to rely on one critter box and we're going to cycle just two shocks. Okay, that kind of felt like it was three. I don't think we lost any warriors on that, though. Perfect. With brick, hopefully one hit. I don't know. I kind of felt like that was two hits on that one. LOL, I map cleared. Gren Med, Gramps, I just GBE, try boost, no powders on that one right there. Wow. That was a very, very nice gold haul on that one. 418,000. Feeling ripped off. No intel, no shards, and no crystals. Looks like a Mega Crab B the GBE. M sorry, looks like Mega Crab will be Gunboat Energy Masterpiece only this time. Exactly, Kinora. Some of the top guys will probably go right down to one Gunboat Energy, rely on the 50%, which is actually more than having one or two 17% uh, GBEs, which is crazy. So, yeah, stack on more of the troop damage or more of the troop health, and I think it's going to be amazing. Yo, what is up here, Falcor? Hey, what's up, Skull? So, can you give us a hint of the upcoming season? Anything at all? You know what, Falcor? No. But... Thank you so much for asking. Just be on the be on the lookout, guys, for any any of those um any of those uh releases that generally happen before the season starts. But right now, curiosity is peaking. A lot of people are very interested. To the skies, to the skies. 
You're gonna have to wait, bro. You're gonna have to wait. <laughs> Yo, what's the Halloween boost again? Only hint is it's called to the skies. Just chill. Been doing my homework and not able to watch my favorite type of content, which is main island, but I have it in the background and I'm almost done. Yo, good luck, man. I'm a good luck. Good work on the homework. What is, uh, what are you doing for homework, man? What is the subject? Okay, next, uh, sorry, next base. We're going in here. Ah, that's the same guy that's online. Um, did the tribes reset Ricky Scott? Yeah, they did, buddy. 12 days and 23 hours of why I, I boosted my warrior tribe right off the bat, guys. It was definitely, definitely the way to go here. So, I, I mean, generally, gunboat energy first, boost that GBE first, then boost the warriors. And if you want to be smart on defense, I, I would generally go for the flamethrower damage over the shock launcher health. Um... Help for Hammerman and help for Warrior Defense. None of the less here. I was thinking 164 for like stages 70 and up here. Yo, Kimi, by the way, Scully, I'm done on global account 1,834. Number nine global. My best L blocked me from going any higher here. Tom is busting a gut here. I was thinking 164. Ryan, that's awesome. Stage 70 up is going to need a, a definite, definite statue lineup like that here. Maybe some weird chopper variants, pumpkin choppers. Well, we do have the pumpkin mortars, do we not? We've had that for previous Halloween crabs. And Ricky Scott, no problem, buddy. See above Falcor. I'm thinking Chopper variant here. Jeremy Jacobs, please, everyone, remember, Skull can't give heads up. He's a member of the NDA. Thank you for that, JJ. Shout out to the Jacobs clan, Crystal, Nathan, Damien, and Isaac. Boom, goes the dynamite. Okay, we got uh, Mohammed Al Dusky. Let's do it. Skull, I got HQ23 today on my second account. My map is lacking so many resources due to nobody having him here. Yo, melons were amazing, dude. Melons were absolutely amazing, Kimi. Yo, John. What's up, John? John uh, Vasilev. Skull, you're awesome. A lot of boom tubers only do warships anymore. You do fun stuff with the other stuff in game. And the stuff that made us love the game in the first place, it's not warships. John Valis sorry, Vasilev. Thank you for that, bro. One thing, um, yeah, man, I, I started my channel my content with map clearing with main island content it just so happens warships is it's the most popular thing in boom beach when it comes to content on youtube so a majority of the boom tubers push warships because warships is the most popular it's it's gonna get generally a, a lot more views than let's say a map clearing or you know an, an operation tutorial it's just how boom beach is now warships is, is king now that's not to say there are not a lot of players out there that still do not thrive and miss the main island content that absolutely love the all hits live i can see an absolute rejoice in the community with off destroy just mentioning that the all hits live ladder tournament is coming back he's also planning a one verse one it's crazy guys i love it absolutely love it okay let's do this guys we got brick again so i'm gonna drop a smoke first vertical stagger drop that's when you drop all your flags in a straight line descending ground flare in front of the sniper ground flare above the vampire uh uh, uh trophy and we'll transition right to the power core here power core transition right to the headquarters battle bo is activated i'm mixing all my lingo up right now okay let's cycle the shocks one two woo that was two swings that was a two swings and yo just chill i'm doing irrational and rational equations and square root problems you're doing math man awesome bro awesome kenora at kinney melons were dumb i would have rather sorry i would have been better with if they called him cluster or merv gramps more war sounding i know he can't jj can't blame me for trying though totally agree vasilif right there that's tips right there and hey wakanda here yo that is awesome right there only me ken it's dr t's fault he got so many right there i don't open youtube anymore you guys overkill warships nothing but warships it's sickening and you know what that is coming from a player who's die hard main island die hard operations die hard map clearing die hard vp push so warships is like the opposite end of the boom beach spectrum for a player like kimi boss so not only do I love and respect Kimi Boss for his for his for his view and for his opinion, but it, it doesn't change him as a player there. Some players don't like warships, and that's okay. That's why he's also freaking top 10 in the game for VP. Go Kimi! Woo!
And I haven't Kimi, but they are coming back, trust me. And Off Destroy is bringing it back, guys. And the community is going to go bananas, man. They'll, they'll, they might even go pineapple, but I'm, I'm going to say they, they'll go bananas. They will go bananas. Okay, we got a level 69 here. I think we did scout this one earlier. And here we go here. Just post other things, bro. And uh, Kimi, I, Kimi, I do agree with you. Guys, we got a shield gen. We got a shield gen. Look at that. We got 871k on that shield. This is a beefy base because we got two shields. Can we melt through this shield here? I think we can. I think we can here. Let's do it here. Among Us is gaining silly, I mean silly in a good way, silly traction, guys. It is a very, very popular game, and Op has captured a very, very needed niche within the Boom Beach community for a game outside of Boom that still fully connects and fully um, puts everyone together, and that's Among Us right there. Okay, um, 85 Gumboat Energy left. I don't want to lose Brick on this drop here, so we'll drop one smoke. A vertical stagger drop. We're going to ground flare in front of the sniper here. And let's go here. Let's go one. Let's go two. And let's reflare. Uh -oh, oh, no. That, okay, that was a really bad. We're going to do, do another two smoke drop here for two. Re this might be our first loss here because we just clipped the shock mine. I'm going to activate BO right now. I can only cycle two shocks here. And that's going to be the two shock launchers. That grappler I don't care about. So we're going to go one. We're going to go two. We've got two shield gens. Battle orders is activated. Let's go warriors. Okay, we got a med kit out. Oh, they're getting roasted. Have we found our first actual challenge here? I believe... Okay, you know what? We're going to reload those warriors. We're going to cycle some more shock points. We'll drop a critter box. We'll keep bricking the fight a little bit longer. I still got warriors. This is crazy. No way. Drops the barrage. Ah! The barrage win right there, right down to the barrage. Holy smokes. I, th I think my barrage also took out my last couple warriors there, um, but that was insane. That was insane right there. Kenora, the double shield is tough, but we stuck through it, man. Those warriors came out to play. Those warriors lost their life there, and I only watch Ops Among Us because it's full of boom players. That that's part of my point right there. Uh, Jawan, why in warships your HQ play such a big part? I couldn't get my fifth engine room still. You know what? There is a way around that. You could totally totally use the admiral key but i do not want to, to force you guys to spend money on the game there um but it is unfortunate that the, the hq requirements are there jawan cheers op you know it dr phoenix boom beach would die without warships worship pays the bills bro going from the legend family the boom community among us says op destroy and i've been a part of that one game guys so i have been a part of ops among us <laughs> <laughs> Blazed a beard. Well said, says Op Destroy. I'm sorry, Dr. Phoenix. There goes my ears. That is hilarious right there. And yo, just chill. Loving that one right there. MC Squared, what's up, buddy? And you know what? Ricky Scott, I can't believe we got that one either, buddy. Boom goes the dynamite. That came right down to the barrage, guys. Right down to the barrage. I apologize because we went balls to the walls in the microphone on that one. Um, we lost Brick. Wow, so close, bro. That Kimi, it was the barrage, man. The barrage won that one for me. That was a heck of a challenge right there. Um, let's go in on this level 69 right here. Wakanda, I feel like if Cosmic had more time, they would do streams like Skull and others. Um, they start streaming. I think other boom tubers will get noticed. Um, Cosmic Duo are, are absolute boom beach geniuses with what they're doing right now. I, I wouldn't recommend Cosmic Duo change anything and just keep uploading their daily content. They have captured pretty much the, the main demographic of Boom Beach, where then you've got the streamers. We've, we're a little bit more on the, the older end. Um, we're not old. We're a little bit on the older end. So we tend to kind of bring in more of those mature viewers as well, who do tend to watch the more um, older as in mature streamers versus, you know, um, you know, the young guys, you know. Shout out to Cosmic Duo, man. I believe they are in, in college, but I, I think I do got like 10 years on them at least. Maybe nine. Okay, we got one shield gen on this one right here. And Op Destroy, good staying in top. Yo, Op, I heard you literally got, you pushed in. 
I always hear uh, through the grapevine, but I heard you weren't going to push. Then you were peer pressured into pushing by Amy and some others after the Among Us stream. You lost two battles. Then you won three to secure the top 500 spot. Am I, am I off a little bit or am I right? Okay, guys, we got to smash the shield gen. Uh, to have Brick survive the whole attack, the Warriors have to reveal themselves before she does. Exactly. That's one thing I did wrong. We need to do the opposite smoke drop. Well said on that one. Well said on that one right there. Okay, let's go for another barrage right over here. We're going to get artillery out right here. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The fact that I got 65 of you watching a map clearing stream right now absolutely blows my mind. And they rock. They've been around for a while. And Op Destroy, yes, you are spot on right there. I was crazy, but it worked. Here we go, guys. Devin showing the love here. Let's get, uh, let's go one. Let's go two. Okay, vertical stagger drop. We're going to ground flare right in front of the boom cannon. I'm going to do that reverse smoke drop. HQ first, then Brick's flare point. So the smoke shows the warriors first, then Brick's second. That should buy us some time on battle orders. What do you guys think? We're going to throw one critter box and we're going to have enough for two shocks here. So warrior show. Wow, look at, look at them go. Look at them go. Brick goes down, but so does the shield, guys. Blink, and you missed that one right there. And Kenora, I made the critical error of going for Seekers, and I ended up... That was me, too, with Skull Crusher, bro. Kenora, that's exactly what happened with me and Skull Crusher, bro. I absolutely... I flushed uh, that account down the toilet with the tech riding decision. Of course, I, I, I live with my decision. I'm accountable for it. But for next season, I am definitely going to be playing much more conservative more maybe a little more defensively heavy not necessarily you know base riding but i will be playing much much more conservatively with skull crusher for season 16 more defenses less tech riding but still pushing like a boss here who are these grapevine buddy of yours i, I don't know amy wink wink a nudge nudge okay it's amy <laughs> Cameron, I would stream Boom Beach, but nobody would. Cameron, I would watch. The community would watch as well. You need to fire off that first Boom Beach stream to get that feeling, to get that understanding. And here we go. I saw no warships for little till I clicked here. Op Destroy, he's my boy. Beautiful, says Dan from Twitter. Well done, Op. That's a ballsy move to take the chance of a fling. And you know what? It worked out for him, guys. I was debating it with Skull Crusher, but I chickened out. I was happy with my legendary placing. I wanted to keep that account in legendary due to the fact that, you know, we had such an epic stream and I didn't want that account to be diamond. I knew we were two stars from top 500, but it, it is just the decision that I had to deal with here. Skull and Amy are the imposters. Yo, we were imposters once on op stream, but we were not a very good team. I, I've definitely got to get my imposter skills up because Amy is like imposter level 100 and I'm like imposter level 2.6. Um, Yeah, legit here. Amy is a very, very good imposter. So if you play Among Us and Amy is in the party. Watch out, man. Watch out. Her and Amy are savagely good. Savagely good. And watch out for Surreal. He's a very good table talker. He likes to talk a lot, which always brings a little suspicion on my end here, especially if you're trying to hide something. Yo, shout out to everybody rocking Among Us. I, I love it, guys. Now, if Amy would stream, there would be more boomers. And two seasons in a row, says Kaiser right there. All right, guys, let's get this drop going. Let's go one, let's go two, let's go three, let's go four, let's go five, let's go six, let's go seven, let's go eight. Gotta get your lying skills on point here. <laughs> Imposter 100 is ABR. Exactly. Exactly. Be very careful if ABR and Surreal are playing. And if Sugar's in the party as well, you're screwed. D to sum it up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we didn't do the reverse smoke drop. Look how far behind Brick is. Like, come on, Brick. Lay off the tacos. Let's go back into the first smoke drop here. We're going to go right up here. We're going to activate BO. Drop one critter box, which leaves me with one uh, shock. We'll get the laser. Battle orders is activated. Brick is going to hold it together. Those warriors literally 
two synchronized swings there with BO and that HQ was uh, down there. ABR just has a quick dagger. LOL, when it started, Amy has the worst. And yeah, she had the worst, but look at her now, bro. Look at her now here. I would kill Surreal first each round just to get him out so he can't... Exactly, our cobbler. I mean, I've only played once. I I've watched a lot, but I've only played once and I'm like, I, I totally get the vibe that Surreal takes the lead here. He takes charge, so a leader emerges. And essentially, when a leader emerges, most suspicion falls off the leader because somebody is taking charge. There is a lot of tactics behind this, so I love it. I absolutely love it, especially with the voice chat. It really, really does bring the game to another level because you can kind of sometimes hear it in their voices, you know, the different tones when you're trying to catch somebody in a lie. Skull, thank you so much for an amazing stream, bro. I am sure I speak for everyone when I say you inspire us and pump us to do better. Yo, drop that driver dude command in the YouTube chat. Boom, goes the dynamite. Surreal is like speech play, expert at poker here. MC is like straight up, I'm the best crewmate. <laughs> Yo, right on, Ryan J. Dropping that driver, dude. Command. Let's see if our friend is offline right now. Yes. All right. This one should be pretty easy, guys. I think we're just going to. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Look at those shock mines. Let's get one barrage right here. See, if I didn't scout, I totally would have been caught by those shock mines. And Kimi, I'm not talking to Amy. I really want to watch her stream, but she is awesome, but no stream. You know what? I think 100% of the community agrees with the first part that you just said. Not, I'm not talking to her. I really want to watch her stream. 100% of the community agrees with that part right there. <laughs> okay, vertical stagger drop. Here we go here. So let's go for two smoke right here. We'll follow up with the machine gun. We're actually going to go right to the hot pot here. I want to take advantage of the hot pot glitch. And I'm going to do my reverse smoke here. Core first, then hot pot. Once Brick reaches the hot pot, the warriors stay on there very nicely. They don't spread. And now we flare the power core. We flare the HQ. We're going to activate. I'm just going to throw two critter boxes. That'll be it. One there. One there. Warriors, Brick. Two swings, baby. Look at Brick. Stays alive the whole fight right there. Boom. Goes the dynamite right there. And yo, Ricky Scott, kind of hard knowing. I play without instant training, and I know I can wipe up bases on my map, but got to wait on... Warriors will really help with that, Ricky. Warriors will really, really help with that. That's why I highly, highly recommend you use the Warriors for the map clearing, buddy. Dr. Phoenix, sorry, only me. It's so funny. There's Amy with the flower in her hair running around, stabbing people in the neck and denying it like butter would melt lmao that's good man that's good dr phoenix i played a few public games and just made that uh, appreciate sorry just made me appreciate go how good the private sh exactly dr phoenix 100 juan i'm gonna do that next warships because i'm supposed to have been six er albert chamey so albert how are you buddy welcome to the live stream guys we got albert in the chat do not forget to drop that exclamation mark albert in the youtube chat there mc square drop the driver dude command yo mc driver showing the love to mc albert showing the love to driver I see two Ryan, sorry, Albert dropping the Ryan command, Dri Driver dropping the Skull command, Kimi boss, Matt face at Amy, Dan from Twitter, all love here, Amy busting a gut here, Driver dude, how about some all devil, oh, are you kidding me? I, I don't even have the gumboat energy to go full scorcher. I don't even, if I go full scorcher, I go full scorcher on Skull Crusher. Um, what is that? www.23.com. I, I wouldn't recommend going there. That's probably a trap. Um, but we are going to go in for the hit right now. Let's do this, man. Watch out, Amy. Watch out when she's giggling. <laughs> The dead giveaway right there. And boom, Beach tips for the win. Dropping that driver command. Awesome, guys. Here we go. MC dropping the Albert command. You guys are amazing. Next, Warriors coming out to play here with Lady Brick. Loincloth flapping in the air here. The Warriors, not Brick. Brick does not have a loincloth. Okay, let's actually meet up on the hot pot. Oh, we popped it. That's okay. Oh, and it's roasting me, Warriors. Let's get one artillery... Right here, let's go right to the core. One, two, and let's do our reverse smoke drop. So core first, then rocket launcher. So the warriors get exposed first. Uh, Kimi, no, I will not be doing two maps, buddy. Um, tomorrow, we might do a Skull Crusher map clear. Um, Borealis has way more damage with the Warriors. So I was like, yo, if I, and plus I had a lot more maps on Borealis. Um, a lot more player bases. Oh my god, that was savage right there. Boom! Goes the dynamite right there. 
um, my warriors do a lot more damage on Captain Borealis than they do on Skullcrusher. Only me, Surreal, reminds me of a Hercule, uh, Poir I have no idea what that is. I am so sorry. <laughs> Hey, a driver, Albert Chami Sewell. Hey, Kevin. All right, guys, it's a Chinese website, says Kimi Boss. <laughs> oh, my land. Oh, look at that, guys. Promotion, baby. Congratulations on your promotion, Colonel 3. Boom, goes the dynamite. Falcor, maybe it's better that Amy doesn't stream. I'm told to spend too much time on YouTube as it is. You know, if Amy starts streaming, she's just going to take all the Boom Beach viewership. We're all going under. <laughs> Drop that sugar command. That's a detective from which series was it? Deshiel Hammett. Man, I feel young here. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, we've got super. What is going on here? Now we got supercell.cr. So we just had ww23.com and now supercell.cr side by side. I swear I am not planning this right here. Let's go on in here, right on Arkalin, dropping the sugar command in at the YouTube chat. This one looks like it's got a little bit of ice right here. 32%, a little bit of mines around the power core. That's a little bit nasty. I want to try to avoid the bulk of those mines. So let's go like this. We'll get one artillery right here. We'll get one right here. And we will get a barrage on the core here just to stay away uh, from the mines on the back and then the shock mine and the boom mine in the front. And we got all mines around the core there. That's awesome. Okay, let's go for our two smoke drop here. We'll start with brick. And vertical stagger drop. Okay, we'll follow with our first ground flare right in front of the uh, flamethrower. We'll transition to our second ground flare right in front of the core and reverse smoke drop. A little bit late on the smoke drop, but we just saved some gunboat energy on that as well. We'll reflare to the core now. Battle orders is activated. So we're going to do this with a critter box directly behind brick to distract that boom cannon and a two shock cycle to the left and the right of the core. So battle orders, oh my god, this is just savage right here. I honestly, I don't know which hero I'm liking better right now. Brick or Bullet when it comes to the, the warrior map clearer here. And Kenora at Dan. No, he was not in the Pink Panther series. Silly here. Only me. 2.0 right there. Kin, I said, reminds me of Dun Dun Dun. Okay, no intel on that one. Surprising, my friends. Surprising. And yo, driver dude. Oh, snap. I hit over 200 subs. Sweet! Thank you all. I thought I did there uh, the other day, but it was 199 driver. You definitely deserve another 200 subs and then 600 more on top of that, man. 1K on the horizon, buddy. Keep the push alive. Keep the push going. All right, we got a level 70 over. I think it's my last player base on Borealis. That is my last player base on Borealis. Okay, let's do this, guys, because then I can do my op hit after this. And shoot, I meant to see how Skull was positioning Brick. Oh, that's all right. We'll go back and we can watch that replay, Kenora. After this hit, we'll go back and watch that replay. So here we go, guys. Let's go... Let's go one barrage on the actual core, and let's go one kind of above the cannon, below the rocket launcher. Okay, let's get our first smoke out. We'll start with brick, vertical stagger drop. Uh, first ground flare, same spot that we dropped that second barrage, above the cannon, below the rocket launcher. Second ground flare with the reverse smoke drop. Core first, then the flare point. Now we follow up with the actual core flare. So the warriors get exposed first. Defenses target warriors. Brick battle orders fires off and has that slight advantage over the D. We're just gonna cycle two critters. Like, that's crazy, man. Brick stays alive for the whole fight and blink, and you miss the hit here. Boom! Goes the dynamite here. I played that guy in Warships. I've actually played a handful of players on my map in Warships before Hassan. That's awesome right there. Congrats, driver. Power of the crickets. Power of the train, bro. Power of the train. But seriously, you cannot forget about those critters right there. Driver, dude. Warriors are OP as AF right here. MC straight up. Wow. Wow, 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 guys. We are just killing it with these. I'm almost tempted to do an op hit with the Warriors. Just because of how much damage we're dealing right now. Uh, let's go in on a resource base with the Warriors, guys. We'll bring them right back out to play here. Ooh, I see we use a technique where you flare past core, then back to stick brick to... Exactly, Kenora. Exactly. We'll see if we can do it again here. I'll remove... Um, We'll remove some of these defenses in the middle here. Just to open up a spot for brick. 
that's good enough. That's good enough there. Okay, so we are going to have to go like this. Let's go for a uh, smoke right here. We're going to flare in the middle and flank our warriors on the left and the right. Brick directly in the middle. Flare in the smoke. Follow up to the transition smoke. Reverse the drop. Resource base first, then flare point. Brick gets into the flare point. Follow up to the actual core resource base, whatever. We're going to activate BO right now. And now we're just going to cycle three shocks, you know, behind, to the right, and to the left. Battle Orders is activated. It's only actually pulling in a handful of those warriors. But we got it here. Off destroy. It's been great, Skull. Thanks for the stream. I need to run. Have a good one, bud, and take care. Much love. Boom. Community. Guys, can I just point out how awesome that is from Off Destroy right now? OP, thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you for hanging out with me, for hanging out with the community as well. Thank you for sharing with us that the All Hits Live Ladder Tournament is making a comeback. I know I am very excited for that. I know the community is absolutely thrilled to hear that as well. Skull Army and friends, please spam the crap out of that YouTube chat right now and drop that exclamation mark off destroy now driver dude thanks all be safe and op we will definitely chat later and i promise you my friend i will i will make myself available to play some more among us with you guys because i had a lot of fun i've been invited a few more times since and i'm, I'm blowing it off for warships or for for silly excuses here so i i definitely got to get back on track here thank you op i hope you uh sun boom and the family have a wonderful night and we will see you later only a me look at out for doggy fish vans op just saying kimi boss love ya op darn tootin buddy darn tootin okay resource base was like easy peasy double lemon squeezy let's see if we can find a little bit of a more challenging resource base here let's go to aventus yes okay we got a challenging resource base i got a nice flare point pretty much right uh actually no we're gonna bring brick right up top here right up top Okay, this landing is going to be a little bit more savage, but we'll go flare. We'll go two smoke. We'll go next smoke. Brick it back in the smoke. Brick it back in the smoke. You're going to give me a heart attack already. Okay, right up top, right up top. One, two, three. And I got to reverse this. The, the, I got to reverse the drop here. So we're going to go resource base first, then flare point. But I think brick is still going to be in that same point. Look how far back brick is. Come on, brick, move it. Okay, now she's at the point. We reflare. We're going to activate B. I'm just going to drop two critter boxes. That's it. So battle. Oh, my God. Look at that, man. Absolutely savage. Boom. Goes the dynamite right there. No, it was Agatha Christie right there. Falcord MC dropping the off destroy command right there. Have fun with Hassan dropping the off destroy command right there. Boom. Goes the dynamite, guys. I love it. Much love and respect for OP. And that was a much more challenging resource base right there. We got little baby NPC, uh, NPC bases here. These guys are literally a walk in the park. Normally, I, I do this now. I know I always used to bash on players that would destroy their NPC, um, but I find myself doing that a lot more often now. And Streamlobs coming in, starting beef with Nightbot there. And remember, guys, if you've got Telegram and or Discord, do not forget to check out my Telegram and Discord. I do post a lot of inside information with regards to streams when they're happening. We've also got a lot of very, very cool people from around the community as well. A lot of information, a lot of support, guys. I'm highly encouraged to check out my Discord community. A lot of the BoomTubers have their own uh infrastructure and setup when it comes to a discord and the community so it's awesome guys think i will get an among us game here when you're done bud look at driver dude there man he's feeling it already man i love it driver i still gotta play with you guys as well man i just realized we did not actually reload our troops but considering this is an npc base i don't think we need to reload sorry reload our troops here okay let's go back to our ground flare two smoke drop And let's go right to the actual core. Okay, Brick's in a pretty savage spot here. I will end up cycling a couple shocks here just to be on the safe side here. So we'll go one behind, one to the right, one to the left. 
That's crazy. Blink and you literally missed that one right there. Boom goes the dynamite. And I destroy NPC exactly. Too boring and exactly. That's that that is my honest opinion of NPC bases right now. I destroy NPC too because and boring and time consuming. Yo, just chill. Hey man, I just destroyed two bases with only Zuka thing. I'm getting better and just got pizza. Two of my favorite things. Zuka's and pizza. That is awesome, dude. Pineapple on the pizza. <laughs> So, all right, guys, you know what? Let's take a look at the operation here. We got the warriors. I, I think we might be able to get a, a warrior solo here. I doubt it. Probably not. This is a stronghold. Um, let's take a look at Commodore for a second here, because I'll probably switch to the Zookas to be on the safe side. Yeah, there's no way we're making our way up there. Not that much health, to be honest with you, but... I mean, I could farm the gun, but you know what? We're going to go for it, guys. We're going to go for warriors on Commodore here. I can farm a fair amount of gumboat energy with one boat of uh, bombardiers here. So let's do this here. Axe Darby showing the love here to throw punch Darby. I know I missed a lot of the stream, but what are the origins of Warrior Brick Hit? I've always been a bullet, honestly, to experiment, to switch things up, to get a um, to get a better feel of different heroes with different troops because it's it's good to be well-rounded in the game. It's good to have different skill sets with different troops. I mean, I love my Alzuka. I love my Warrior. To be honest with you, like I said, guys, there is a fair amount of different troops that I do thoroughly enjoy using. Warriors being one of them. Zookas being another. Um, just on top of that as well, I think there is also... Um, uh, uh, TMG, so tanks, medics, uh, grenadiers, you throw the bombas in there as well. And absolutely, because brick is also very fun as well. But I think I do want to load up one boat of melanier, sorry, meloniers. Bombardiers, I'm going to get bullet here because bullet's going to help out more than brick. Actually, no, if I can actually get brick to the flare point, that would be amazing. Um, but I think bullet and taunt will play a much better part for me, especially if I can cycle one shock off here. I'm going to go bullet. I'm going to go one boat of Bombardiers. I'm going to go seven boats of Warriors. And we're going to go in on Commodore here. And uh, Yun is going to kill me here, especially if I butcher this hit here. But we can farm a fair amount of Gumboat Energy here. So let's drop those Melanie Meloniers. Let's drop those Bombardiers here. And Kenora, that's right. Brick is fun. Brick is a fun. Okay, let's get one Bart. Let's get two Bart. Okay, one, two, three. Not bad. Okay, now we just farm. With heavy health and GBE, I think I might be time for Brick's Cluster. <laughs> that Prof Shish invented. Yo, the Cluster Buster. The Cluster. I love that, man. I use Kavan with my low level accounts and warriors. Throw Punch Darby. That is a solid, solid recommendation, guys. I can't believe we're actually going for this common door with warriors right now, but I'm going to farm Gumboat Energy at least for another minute or here. Pineapple makes everything taste better. You know what? Maybe I should finally start coming around to pineapple. Um, but uh, I don't agree with you because I do not like the anana. I do not like the pineapple. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with pineapple. And there's nothing wrong with all you cool cats who love the pineapple as well. Even peanut butter, says Darby. Okay, so we're farming. We're 90 gumboat energy. Come on, man. I was expecting a lot more gumboat energy. And I'm going to lose my... Oh, my God. No, I got to pull this off with 99 gumboat energy. Come on, man. Maybe we'll get 100 and... Uh, 103. 102. Nice. Okay, 102. 102. Let's do this, guys. I like bullet with my max account. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Woo! It's going to be cray-cray. Okay, not bad. Let's keep it together. I'm going to try to gap my smokes now just to save a little bit of GBE.
Okay, so we can do one taunt and one shock. One taunt and one shock. This has got to be the best taunt and best shock of my life here. Come out and play. Holy smokes, man. I thought we were maybe going to do half damage. I had nine, a hundred. I repeat, I had a hundred and two gumboat energy to pull that one off from the start right there. This just shows you how OP the Warriors are right now. We just did a Commodore solo with Warriors, guys. It was Operation Stronghold, but that is a perfect, perfect, exactly, MC. Get the f out, man. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite, guys. Axe Darby, technology. Whoa, Commodore Warrior says Kenora right there. Have fun with Hassan. Loving that one with exclamation mark. Boom, guys. We definitely need to go back in and watch that replay right there. I, I think Yun's gonna be blown away. Awesome hit, Skull. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I just got that. LMAO still live on YT. <laughs> ba boom, driver dude. That was a sick. Chillax 2012. I love it, man. And here we go. Jeremy Jacobs. Are you effing kidding me? Boom, sucker. That was effing pro, bro. Boom. Wow, that was awesome. Best. Yo, you guys should be taking Warriors to operations right now. Let's go back in and watch that again with Captain Borealis and the Warriors coming out to play here. I, we had 103 gunboat energy to pull that one off, guys. 103 GBE to pull that one off right there. Hey, man, what? Let's go. The Warriors, man, they're loincloths, trusty Vikings, loincloths flapping in the air, bringing the hammer down. We made that the best taunt of our life. We made that the best shock of our life. Boom goes the dynamite. I can't believe we just did that. Everything from the, the farming to the drop, it just it came together, guys. It came together. We're watching the replay right here. I think that had almost, a, it might've been like 800,000 to uh, a million health on it. No, we did MA, but we have a lot of hits left over. So, Kenora, not a bad idea there, man. Seriously, guys, bring the Warriors out to play here. That last power saw right there, that brought me my 102 GBE. Hard to keep the PG filter. Uh, that just brought me to my feet with you and your warriors. Thank you, JJ. I'm telling you guys, definitely one of my more favorite troops to play around with. We stretched the smokes, guys. Bullet, Bullet's taunt literally won that for me. I, we would not have won that with Brick because the boom cannons would have picked her off like there was no tomorrow. That was a three smoke drop. I want you to pay attention to once the warriors, before they made it to the actual flare point, which was a ground flare directly in front of the power core here, that was a three smoke drop, almost like a, uh, a overlapping one, two, three. I know you can see the, the first circle, then the second circle, then the third one right underneath it there, but it, you can do this with two smokes, but two smokes needs to be perfect. I stretched it with three, kind of hoping that I would still have enough for at least one shock and one taunt, and did we ever, guys? So then we transitioned to a reflare to the actual core there, and the problem is here is that shock launcher right there fired so when the smoke expired right there we actually nailed the shock point right there pinning down all the machine guns right there bullets taunt was mvp there we pulled in six boom cannons and one flamethrower that flamethrower was huge guys absolutely huge but pay attention to this nasty shock launcher so it fires it fires it fires boom that shock launcher fired guys and it completely trapped the bottom of that power core, which means for literally like six to seven seconds, I only had the left flank warriors dealing damage to this power core right here. Then we had MVP warrior on the back right there. Look at him all by him, loans himself right there, getting things done. But that shock launcher absolutely screwed me, guys. Not screwed me, really put a damper on things. But as the attack continued there, the warriors on the right are dealing insane damage. Shock launcher getting in range there, 
Bullets taunt, still distracting the boom cannons. Shock launcher fires again, pins down less warriors, really opens up now a bunch more warriors on the bottom of the core. Left side warriors have been opened up to the shock expiring on the machine guns. And we literally, with these of bullet here, and look at our MVP warrior at the top right right there. Boom! Goes the dynamite, man. Kenora, perfect coverage. Most people use four. Now, nah, man, I, I will go for two if I can. If not, we're doing it in three, bro. We're doing it in three. Them warriors' butts were clinched, bro. My butt was clinched. <laughs> Boom! Goes the dynamite. I absolutely love that MVP warrior at the top right. You know, look how many warriors we still had alive at the bottom right there. That was incredible. Boom! Goes the dynamite, guys. Clutching the Commodore finish. That's what I'm talking about right there. I'm going to leave it to the rest of the OGs to bring this one down. But guys, that was a, uh, that's going to be today's live stream. Nice little, nice little short one there. Once again, going back to the basics there, covering the map clearing with the very, very OP Warriors. Remember, guys, we got 12 days right now. 12 days to get it done. It's not possible, Kimi. They will peak, but I... I, I like to stretch it. I've done it with two before, but you will get some peakage. You will get some peakage. Three perfect to get that coverage. Four to guarantee it. Two to save on G uh, GBE, but still have minimal peakage. Nonetheless, guys, amazing warrior map clearing. We even did some hammerman defend there. I'm going to go back and try to tackle fleet number seven there because that one's definitely a doozy. And without the assistance of a hot pot, a microwaver, I think it is going to make things difficult there. Driver, dude, I'm going to eat some dinner. It's 937 for me right now, bro. Um, I can't. I Sorry, I, I woke up today with the intentions of streaming after work here, man. I am going to have some dinner. Um, I will stay in contact with you, bro, because I'm assuming you guys will be playing for a couple hours, man. And yeah, I definitely love to get in on that. You know what, Arkelin? I'm going to hit with Skull Crusher, but I'm going to do it off a of stream here, guys. And once again, I want to give a shout out to my Canadian Warshippers. Warshippers for absolutely killing it. Sugar Ship representing on that local leader board. Skull Army and friends, you guys are are amazing i'm gonna try my best to continue with some more streaming tomorrow we might switch it up with you know maybe zuka map clearing on skull crusher at 1100 vp um but i know i'm really really gonna be digging these warriors for the next 12 days super op please make sure you have boosted your warrior damage tribe aka the fire spike tribe hammer is so easy with tribes and either hot pot or micro i wish i kept a hot pot or a micro i I really did, Kenora. I really did, Arkelin. Shout out the Sugar Ship, buddy. Only me. Thank you to you as well, my friend. Base Killer, the Arkob. As always, very entertaining. Thanks for your time and commitment, Skull. Thank you, Base Killer. Massive shout out to Arkobler. Ciao, Kenora. I was going to say see ya, but it's ciao. I'm pretty sure it's ciao. I'm kidding. I know it's ciao. Thank you, Kenora. Skull Army and friends, remember, do not forget to leave a like on today's live stream. If you are new and you are digging this content, consider subscribing. Ring that bell. And yes, Stay notified for when I go live and upload awesome boom beach content. We just did a, a freaking Commodore solo with the most OP tribes of the week, the Warriors. And remember, do not forget to use a, sorry, do not forget to use a code. Do not forget to use my code in the in-game shop when purchasing any diamonds, any Admiral keys, any instant training, essentially any in-game purchases. Code Skull Crusher, baby. Woo! Once again, shout out to Opdestroy as well. Use code Opdestroy, guy. He killed it. Absolutely killed it. Thank you for spending time with us as well. But I think we will officially be wrapping up the stream now. School Army and friends, say it with me. I think it's time to make a like a Tom and cruise. Or, you know, we'll make like a baby and head out. Now, let's check out some of that Hammerman in a bathtub. Peace!